What's up, y'all? Hmm. There we go. Well, almost, mostly. There we go. All right. Welcome to game day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by y'all because another solo game day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I have threatened this, and here we are. This is now one of the most covered games in the history of Heavy Cardboard. I've realized, and that is Obsession, designed by Dan Halligan, published by Dan Halligan, graphic design by Dan, okay, you get the idea, so Kayenta Games is Dan's company, Dan it was gracious enough to hang out with us today, so hi Dan, and welcome to everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. As I said, this is actually, I misspoke, this is the fourth live stream we've done for Obsession, for playthroughs. The first was a four-player game. The second was the regular base solo game. The third was the solo with the expansion. And now we're doing the solo estate challenge, which is very, it's similar but completely different to the base game. Uh, I am not going to teach you how to play today. I realize what it says in the opening and all of that stuff. It lies. Or I changed my mind. Basically, I'm going to go over how to play this version of the game, and then we're going to get started. It's going to seem very similar, but there are some very, very unique things uh, for this version of the solo game. And uh, on that note, I have a confession to make. Apparently, somehow, I have misplaced uh, some of the tokens for rolling, but the thing is, it's actually really easy to remember. You just have to count. So not a big deal, and my bad on that. That's part of the reason we were late, but the other reason is kid emergency. I digress. Doesn't matter. We're here now. Let's have some fun. If I linked down below all of the other playthroughs that we have done, so if you want full teaches, full instruction on how to play the game and playthroughs for the various other versions, go check those out after watching this, hopefully. And yeah. So, a couple of things. This requires the upstairs-downstairs expansion because this is actually only available in the upstairs-downstairs expansion. And, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Good. All right. Welcome, Wimbler and everyone. Ward. All right. Yeah, seriously, it makes sense how cursed this game was for us, it seems. So, all right. So I vacuumed, and you can't even tell now. Ah, anyway, let's get into it. If y'all are ready, I'm ready. There we go. Obsession for men. By the way, uh, uh, we also did a recent review on the podcast. So if you would like to hear our review of that on the podcast, I would recommend going and checking that out. Um, it was, uh, I think we covered it completely and totally, entirely. I think we're good there. So, all right, anyway, so what is it y'all are looking at? Well, a whole bunch of stuff, but, but, priorities. By the way, this number is way off. I need to fix that. Just, if you see it considerably lower later, you know why. But, that said, Doc, cheers. Thank you very much for the support. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, support the show. Patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. London Fog today. Thought it was appropriate. And thank you, Jess, for said London Fog. All right. So what is it y'all are looking at? Well, we, we really kind of have three boards out here, right? We have the main board here. We have Alderly Hall, which is the round track and the timer of the game here. And then these two boards are actually one combined board. This normally would go to the bottom of this, and those were rolled, would, would uh, our, our estate's improvements would actually be below. But because uh, you can do this in space reasons... There we go. All right. So that's that's pretty much everything. But the main board, we have the market. Now, the market for this one is going to be completely different than a normal game. Normally, you put out one tile, da-da-da-da-da. 
However, um, I'll go over that more in a little bit. All right, then we have two uh, decks. We have our regular and then our prestige guests. So regular guests, prestige guests, we have the bank. We have servants for hire. We have objectives that hopefully will come into play. We have a randomizer for the AI, although the AI is not really a bot. Really, all it's going to do is take tiles. So there's that. Uh, normally, there would be little tokens down below to show what we roll, but it's basically one and two, and then three numbers for each of the others, except for 1920, nothing happens. All right. Over here in Elderly Hall, and let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Now, there are two different ways in which we could play uh, the game. So we start here, you move anti-clockwise or counterclockwise if you're on this side of the pond. And we're going to go the standard um, solo estate challenge game will last approximately 12 rounds. Okay, And that is the score that we are trying to beat. If we were playing the extended game, it would go 15 rounds and that would be the score to beat. But honestly, I thought the standard game would be good enough for this without being excessively long. Uh, normally, my, my guess is the normal game is going to run somewhere in this range from 10 to 14 rounds is my guess. Now, I will also point out that there is a way to theoretically break the game if you want, but we're not, we're, we're just not going to try and intentionally do that. Kind of takes the thrill out of the game. Anyway, so as it is, we are going to go through all of these events when we get there, go through a series of actions and play the game. So that's pretty much everything you're looking at. Then there are seven player aid cards down below me, down below the camera. Uh, and then there is, whoop, I hit it when trying to, there we go. So that is going to be our scoring with our goal to beat the 132. All right. Now, with all that said, what is it we're actually going to do on a turn? Well, order of play is exactly as you see it there. Rotate service, we will skip that in the first round. And then uh, any round track or monuments or servant hall benefits you would get, we're going to skip that in the first round. Then we're going to host an activity, which is the main part of the game. Then invite guests, meaning play cards from our hand. And then provide service if they require service for which to do. And then we will enjoy favors in that order. So money, then, uh, oh good Lord, I total brain cramp. Money, reputation, points, and I cannot remember off the top of my head what the last one is. Now I feel like an idiot. Total brain cramp. You ever have that happen? Now I'm having to actually look in a rule book and I shouldn't have to. That's embarrassing. Uh, money, reputation, gentry, and then possibly dismiss guests or hire servants. Then buy from the market and then clear the board, rinse and repeat. There you go. That's it. Total brain cramp. I'm glad you're here, apparently, Dan. Whew. All right. So what is it we're trying to do? Well, we're trying to score a whole bunch of points based on all of these things. The main thing that we're going to be doing is improvement tiles in this game. That's also going to be one of the timers for the game as well. All right. As well as getting victory points from Gentry, from the cards that we get. There are going to be no milestones, and there may or may not be objectives that we get. Reputation victory points, uh, we're, we're just going to get a set amount, actually, now that I think about that. Uh, service victory points for servants, money, which, eh, and ignore the courtship, and possibly we may get victory point cards, but uh, courtship's not going to happen in this game. Um, there you go. Third one is, oh, you're right, is visitor cards. Thank you, Graham. I don't, I did, did. apparently I'm all out of sorts. Um, all right, so we start with our family cards. We have two male, two female, and uh, caveat, look, this is, uh, this would be Victorian slash Edwardian, right? I think it's Victorian uh, era. So the sexes had defined roles, not saying that's right, just this is what the 
the game models. And if you know anything about this game, it's basically Downton Abbey, the game. I did that for Tony's effect. Not really. It is just, uh, it's Jane Austen. All right, so keep that in mind. Not trying to make any statements on the sexes and everything. Just simple fact, that's where we are. Now, the game ends when a number of things happen, and I want to make sure I get this right. All right. The game ends when all of the following conditions are met. We are maxed at reputation. So when it shows max right there. So we have gone around, I believe that's seven times. The reputation has eclipsed from five to one, and we gain a reputation level. So there's that. We need three of each type of tile in our tableau meaning three essentials, three service, three estates, three prestige, and three sporting. And uh, after your opportunity, uh, check that back up. Um, I lost my spot. There we go. And all of your tiles are flipped to the rose side. So like that. So they've been activated. So three of each, and they must all be on the rose side unless they do not have a rose side especially uh, with the uh, service buildings, etc., etc. All right. That's it. Now, I did mention that the game sort of has a timer here and a goal. The goal is 132. The timer, you'll see the stuff that's written in yellow down below here. It, for every round below 12 that you finish the game, that you, all those conditions are met, you score five points for each additional, for each round uh, so if you finish in nine rounds, good luck with that. But if you do, you'd get an extra 15 points. If you go longer than 12 rounds to hit all those conditions, then you lose five points per round. That's the way to game the system as far as uh, breaking it. Dan is uh, currently in works for uh, to prevent people from doing that. But basically, oh, I'll go an extra round because losing five points, I'll be able to score more points, so I'll just make it go on indefinitely. Kind of goes against the, the spirit of the game, so keep that in mind, okay? But that said, 12 rounds, 132 points. I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So place your bets. Is it us or is it the AI that is going to win the game? Uh, and over under on Glory to Realms... Two and a half. Three and a half. Let's go three and a half. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about with the market. There is one copy of every tile, every base game tile. Um, none of the weird ones. None of the promotional ones. None of the hybrid tiles are in here. And they are all done up based on... Yeah, we'll do it that way. Um, so if you take a look, you see that number written right there, so 40 will be the lowest number. The one next is 65, so on and so forth. So there's one copy of every one of the tiles in there. The game, for its turn, is basically going to throw away tiles. To do that, when it, it's the AI's turn, we're just going to roll the die. One, two, get rid of that. Uh, three, four, five, get rid of either uh, the first, second, or third one down in the stack. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think I miscounted. Anyway, I have the list right here. Those are the markers that I can't, for whatever reason, seem to find. So there we go. All right, cool. Oh, that. Wow. There we go. Apparently they're right there. Well, in that case, let's hang out for a minute, shall we? I need to grab all the boxes over here. Good thing I wore pants today. Ooh. Thank you. No wonder I could. I was like, I wouldn't have thrown them out. Thanks, Dan. Uh, 700, that will go there. There we go. I just have to, I don't know why I put them into the, oh, probably because of the, Ah, I have failed you, Dan. Apparently, I'm getting these in order. So each 
each of the boxes has one of these I put in there. So, all right. So how is everybody today? Let's fill some time, shall we? Hopefully everyone's having a good Wednesday. I've had a really eventful day. I mean, really eventful. Lincoln had to go to the vet because he has been um, not feeling well at all. And I am not one to take my dog to the vet unless I really think it's important. Come to find out, probably not drastically bad, so that's good news. Uh, and got him some medicine as well as some new kibble uh, temporarily to get his belly under control. Then after that, I have my chiropractor. Then after that, I had therapy. And now we're in, and then we had a kid emergency, and now we're here. So it's been a day. All right. Yes, we need to watch Bridgerton at some point, Jess, after we are finished with uh, Grey's Anatomy. By the way, if you all haven't seen, we're growing out the hair. I realize I'm a year too late, like you're supposed to do that during COVID time apparently, but oh well, whatever. So there we go. Ah, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. So now when we roll, the numbers are actually there. 19 or 20, nothing happens. All right. Uh, is there anything else I need to talk about for any of these? I don't think so. Um, we'll talk about these when they come up. I don't think we need to talk about them right now. I don't think so. I think we're good. Yes, McDreamy. Yes, yes. All right. So, yeah, let's start it over here. Try that. There we go. Move that there. Here we go. All right, so rotate service, meaning people move this way so they're available. Uh, oh, shoot. I forgot we have to do the draft, don't we? I screwed that up, I think, on the last stream, too. I think that is the last part of setup that I did not do. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay, so basically I get to take a servant. Um, what do y'all want me to take? So let's see if I can get it all right. So we have under butlers, valets, we have ladies maid, we have footmen, then we have the head housemaid, we have the hall boy, we have the cook, and, and the useful man. All right, there we go. Uh, just pick a short servant. Uh, from the supply. So yeah, uh, what do y'all want? So that's basically the hall boy, the valet or footman or ladies maid. I think that's it for setup. Let me double check. Hold on. Remove the group. I did not, but when we draw them, if we draw any group bonus cards, we'll get rid of them. Uh, done, 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 done. And that doesn't say it here either, so. Using the uh, little player aid I printed out, but nah, let's not. Let's actually look at the rules. Yeah, so I draft one servant and we don't get any, oh, yes, we do, because I screwed that up on the last one, right? Um, I did it, the two starter guests. I screwed that up again. I, I am consistent when I do that. So I forgot, we have to get the uh, starter guests out of here. Ah, 
can't believe I did that again. And no one caught it. Well, I guess someone did. Graham did, right? No? Hey, Lars. Yeah, anything but the underbutler. Correct. I feel like an idiot. Oh, I'm looking on the wrong side of the cards. That's why. You know what? I'm just going to grab the first two that I see. There we go. Good. All right. That'll work. Oh, yeah. But that's basically what Dan just suggested. There we go. Good enough. They're in there. So, there. All right. Hey, hey. So, what did, uh, what did uh, people say? Um... Sure, take whichever one you plan on using the first turn. Um, well, let's take a look at our tableau. For, let's take a look at our cards. So let's get started. There we go. Whew. All right. So we will look at, uh, first off, I'm going to butcher these probably because the font, is, the, the flavor that Tony and I discussed on the podcast. So Lady Evelyn Cavendish, uh, by the way, back up. We are playing the Cavendish family, uh, and they are the best connected. Begin the game with a reputation level one, position four, so that's why. There we go. And I thought, you know what? I wanted to be the Howard family, because they start with the cook, but I realized we did that last time. Anyway. Uh, right. So she does not require any attendance, and we can either, uh, we can draw two regular guests, choose one, or uh, basically dismiss a guest. Okay? All right. Uh, then, we have Viscount Stephen Cavendish, who requires no attendance and either get uh, 100 pounds, British sterling, or one reputation. Then we have uh, Lady Tara Cavendish. And, uh, oh, by the way, I should also point out that... Um, yeah, never mind, never mind. Uh, so either get a prestige, I'm sorry, a... Try this again. You may get one guest, a non-prestige guest, and if uh, a male prestige guest accompanies the young lady on an activity, then we get two reputation as well, all right? Then uh, the final family card, so these are the four guaranteed ones. Uh, Earl Paul Cavendish, uh, collect uh, tenant rents, he does, so he gets you 200 and does not require, notice, none of them require attendance, okay? However, once we get into the starter gentleman, as it just so happens, uh, Major William Hay or Hawes, well-known explorer, has led uh, a successful expedition up the Zambezi River, nice, and uh, gets to reputation, but but requires a valet to attend. And finally, we uh, apparently we're going to heavy military here, a major and a colonel. So Colonel Walter... Uh, Del Rimple? The highly respected colonel is one of the most prominent war heroes from Rosley. Rosley. And they are identical as far as what they provide. So there we go. All right. So, with that said, if we wanted to play both of these, we would need an extra valet. Keep that in mind. Ah. Uh... Yeah, see, exactly, Ward. I think we take an extra valet. I mean, it's going to help us early on. It just seems kind of wasteful to use it that way, but... Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to think about it. We're just going to do it. 
we will grab an extra valet. There we go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nah. And we start with no money. Okay. Okay. And so we begin. All right. So, rotate. So, da, da, da. host an activity. All right. So, hosting an activity means we're going to choose one of these to be able to do as our main action. It's going to require us to play the associated cards from our hand as called for here in the picture or above the picture. So two family cards mean it would have to be two of them and not non-family, okay? And it could be male or female. The butler's room requires the butler. The gentry means cards. Two ladies, pretty self-explanatory, so that would have to be those two specifically since they're the only ones we have. And finally, two gentry and 300 pounds sterling, uh, three reputation, um, and a prestige guest here. This allows us to hire two uh, servants from the supply. We are going to have to do all of these at some point, okay? Uh, but yeah, what do y'all want us to do for the first turn? Um, I mean, I kind of like this one, but the problem with that is that uh, it possibly is going to require us to get uh, reputation up to a certain level that we are not at right now. Hey, Kabuki kid. I need to cut my nails. I was running behind today. I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry. Um, Cause while money is great, I kind of like the idea of playing these two at the main gazebo. What do y'all think? Um, gets us a prestige guests early on. Although the Bowling Green will get us money. So there's that. Ah. We are going to want to do the study in the first three rounds for sure. Uh, the butler's room isn't terribly important, I don't think, because remember, there is no courtship in this version of the game, so we're not having to worry about the victory point numbers at the bottom, uh, or the, or the le I'm sorry, the levels uh, for to go up against the AI like in the last one. So the private study makes sense as well. Um, all right, everyone's screaming money. So... The Bowling Green sounds good, and that's going to be two gentry. So, if that's the case, the only two money generators instead are going to be those two. So, that would be uh, 600. 600 quid's not terrible. I think we could. Um, oh, and I guess uh, while, we're, while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a look at the market real quick. So all of these, only the top ones are available to us, but everything is available eventually. They're in the stack. There's a single copy. So at 300 up to 600, it is those that are available. Okay. The morning room's kind of nice because that's only going to cost us. You know what? I'm going to drop these down a little because of that. So it's not blocking the numbers as much, even if it won't line up perfectly. There we go. That's a little bit better. And obviously the adjustment, so that is going to be 100. That is going to be 200 because of the uh, what's shown on the tile. 400, 500, etc. cetera. Um, Dan's yelling no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I understand. I understand. Oh, I, I, I apologize. Every tile is available, so we could buy that one if we wanted. So keep that in mind. I, I misspoke. Thank you, Dan. But yeah, I think uh, I think the idea of 
going ahead and doing that, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and we're gonna host the Bowling Green. So we're gonna play some bowls and let's just get cash. So we'll play that and that. So that's gonna be our two gentry. It's going to require the footman attend. That's going to now get us all of our money and reputation, whatever. But as it is, there's 300, 600 all day. So there, uh, we can do it right here. That's 600. Those two are discarded. Expended service. This will flip over. Like so. Okay. Okay. That makes sense, pretty, pretty straightforward. Have a good one, Tony. And we do, we, we, we have those two for the private study. So I think we're in good shape, I like that. Um, all right. So then we can buy from the market and a little bit, there is one difference here whenever you buy from the market. All tiles initially available, as I mentioned, uh, you can buy as many tiles as you can afford each turn. So it's not a single tile, it's as many as you can afford or that you want. And Three of each is my limit. If I ever want to buy a fourth, I have to discard one and out of the game, and there we go. Okay? All right. So let's go. Let me see if this is zoomed in enough for y'all. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that'll work. I mean, the brushing room feels like a no-brainer. That feels... Like it, because A, it's only a hundred quid. And uh, the footmen, um, so footmen are extra valets essentially, right? So the white are green. I think that's a pretty good idea. I like that. So we'll go and grab that one. Move our hand out of the way for right now. That'll be 100 quid done. All right. And Dan's talking about the servants' quarters. Let's see. Uh, can deploy one servant from the servants' quarters each turn. So in other words, somebody that's here can be used here as if they were available each turn. Not a terrible idea. That's an extra four. Ah, but really, though? Let's see. Head housemaid can perform any female service role, just not the cook. Uh, place a footman to raise or lower the activity guest count. So it says two guests, you can play three, that type thing. I really like that tile, by the way. Um, you know what? We're looking on the left side, so, so there's that. Uh, gain an underbutler who may perform any male service role except for the useful man. It's a one-time use, but... All right, okay. Uh, groundskeeping staff is expanded. All estate activities generate one reputation. So estate ones are all of these. They gain an extra. If we're gonna do it, we probably want to do that early, right? But I, I think given that we have both a, the major and the colonel, I don't think that one's going to be terribly important. Uh, the servants' quarters we just went over. The rumor mill, um, no, that really doesn't come into play since uh, it's solo. And the renovated kitchen. Guests of any prestige rating may attend. That's awfully tasty. The problem is it's 600 quid, but that is awfully good. And yes, the writing stables would be 200. Um, all right, I will go with, uh, I will go with what y'all say. So there we go. We will go ahead and lock up the servants' quarters here. 
So that's going to be a total of 400 quid, the 100 plus the 300. And that is our third. Now, we can get more, but we're going to have to lose one of those if we choose to. But that is complete now. Still got to flip them over, but, right, there is a row side. There is no row side on either of those, but there is on that. So these do not have to flip. That one already good. All right. So we have 100 quid. Is there anything else that we could buy for 100? Um, I don't think there are any minus 300s in here. So there are not. So we're done. That's it. Okay. All right. Done. So now that we have bought from the market, clear the board. We kind of already did that, right? Put the tile, flip it over here. Once it's on the rose side there, it doesn't flip back over to the other side. So boom, done. All right. Um, I guess technically in between seven and eight, the AI takes its turn, but I digress. So here we go. So we're going to roll the die and see what the AI does. That would be number 16. So if we take a look, 16 is that one. And 16 is the middle number, uh, one of the middle numbers. So I believe that's going to be the second from the top. Yeah, the second monument it's going to take. So it's going to take the largest wine cellar and it's gonna eat that up. So the game took that one, unfortunately. All right, if it had been 15, it would have been the top one, 17, that one, and 18, the one below it. But there you go. The game now has the largest wine cellar. And if we want to be uh, an extra challenge, that'd be at six additional points for the game. For the AI, on top of the 132, we're not going to do that today. No. But I will keep track of them, the, the tiles that they throw away. Yeah, go ahead and throw them over here for us. What's up, James? All right? Cool. Cool. All right. So, step one now. Rotate service. Okay. So, now the footman is available. Uh, round track. Boop. So, the village fair that's coming up over here. The village fair... Anybody who has flipped their study tile to this is going to get an extra, and by anybody, I mean us, uh, two reputation and 300 bucks at the start of the turn. So both there and there. Possibly there again. So, but we'll see. Okay? All right. So we have done the round track. We have no monuments. The servants hall, we do not have. We are done. Now we can host an activity. All right, so we have two ladies and two gentlemen. We have two family members. What do we want to do? And remember, we don't need it, but we do have availability of the footman if we wanted, which was actually a third valet, so, or valet. Um, all right, so what do we want to do? Now that we have done that, we're probably going to want to do that. Um, I think so. It makes sense. What do y'all, I'm open, I'm open for suggestions, ideas. What do y'all think? Yes. Graham agrees with the village fair idea to plan for it. So the study, right? Okay. All right.
And the reason we want to do that now is because this happens at the very beginning. That happens at step two before we host. So I think it's a no-brainer. So that's what we'll do. All right. So we are going to uh, have an, uh, an activity in the private study, the village fair planning. All right. So that's going to require our butler. Our butler is available. So butler comes over. It requires two family. Well, we literally have no choice. It has to be the two ladies. So let's do so. So we have that there. And the ladies give us a bit of a choice here. Require no attendance, as you can see. And apparently T-Mobile has stuff for us. All right. So what do we have? We have uh, a casual guest and then draw two casual guests, keep one. And not being accompanied by a prestige gentleman, so therefore no uh, reputation. And we're not going to... Uh, dismiss anybody. So there we go. We're going to just draw some guests. There we go. All right. So. Boop, boop. Uh, yeah. I. You know what? Let's just. Uh, what do we want to do? Draw one and keep it or draw two and keep one? Which one do you want to do first? Y'all choose while I get a drink. Who doesn't want a crass American, Dan? I mean, seriously. Um, I think we do the random draw first. I think so. So here we go. That is not a crass American. It is Theodore Marshfield mm -hmm. Esquire. The youngest son of Lord Marshfield has a passion for British military history. Have you noticed we're going super heavy on, uh, on military here in history? Well, we have a footman that works as a valet and two valets and more money. So there's that. Okay, that's cool. All right. Uh, and now we can draw two and keep one. So we will draw two and help us choose. We have uh, Theodore Lodge Esquire with a sister who is notorious and a great shame to the family. Young Theodore is a study in proprietary or er, er, propriety. Um, so he gets us one more casual guest, requires no attendance, but worth zero victory points. Sorry. Yeah. And we have uh, Zachary L. Esquire, a lot of Esquires, a successful barrister hailing from a common background. Mr. L. is a fascinating raconteur, which apparently is, uh, is a fancy word for liar. <laughs> um, I don't know. A hundred really isn't worth that and I would prefer to get the casual guest. I'm leaning towards Theodore as opposed to Zachary. What do you think? Oh, Dan says free money. It's not free though because you gotta, it, it, it takes up a spot. Wow, everybody says money. All right, fine. Zachary L, it is. So, under the bottom because again, we're not making it through that deck. Not only, even if we did, it's supposed to go to the bottom of the deck in case those come back up. So there's that. All right. So, ladies, done. There. Butler, there. Private study flips. How did I do this? There we go. Okay. Okay. So we have hosted the activity, invited the guests, provided service, enjoyed the favors, and now we can purchase from the market. We only have 
100, but that's okay. So we're not going to purchase anything this turn because obviously no money. And now we will roll. Hey, trucker. Two. Two will be here, and it will be the second one. So the housekeeper's room removed. There we go. All right, good enough. Boom, done. Clear the board. We've already done that. All right, rotate service. Boop. There we go. Now the round track. Hey, village fair happens. So what happens with the village fair? As we mentioned earlier, uh, the village fair says future village fairs produce 300 and two rep. All right. Hey, look at this. One, bink, two. So our reputation level is now at two. Awesome. And we get an extra 300 quid. Done. What's up, Ceylon? Greg, what's up? Hope works are going well. All right, so uh, host an activity now, shall we? Uh, hmm, let me back up. Let's go ahead and talk about the event coming up here, the Grand Ball. Yeah, all right. That is a special thing that only happens in the uh, Solo Estate Challenge as well as Tableau Obsession. But what that is, is at the beginning of round six, there is a ground ball, all right? Well, in our case, that would be at the beginning of ground five. Yes, five uh, for us. As the first action of each turn, and I'm going to forget this so y'all help me, you get to take draw three prestige guests from the supply, keep one, and discard the other two to the bottom of the deck, and then take your turn, okay? So you get a prestige guess at the beginning of every turn. Uh, although, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, there we go. All right, good. Wade, uh, yeah, they, they, this is this is pretty good. Um, yeah, listen to our review as as far as uh, just thoughts on the game in general. But yeah, this is I think this is just absolutely wonderful. Um, all right, so what event do we wish to host? We have four gentlemen, so keep that in mind. So we're not going to do anything in the front parlor. Um. I mean, the main gazebo kind of makes sense to me. We have 400 quid right now. So basically, do we want the extra 200 for it? But it, again, it's not going to help us flip a tile because we've already flipped it. Or do we go ahead and hook up the main gazebo? So for those that... Uh, are, are looking for a copy. The good news is come, what, August, I think you said, Dan? Um, it should be available to folks. So there were delays because COVID. Um, I'm thinking the main gazebo, and that's going to get us, I mean, we could get another 300 quid to go with the 400 that we have. We could get 200 and a couple more rep. I mean... I, yeah. And to answer your question on how does passing work, that. I mean, it is the British thing to do. That is a statement of fact. Um... I mean, I feel like the colonel should take precedence on this. But yeah, I, I think we go ahead and hook that up. So let's do the main gazebo. 
So that's going to grab a footman that's available. So here, let's do it this way. It's going to go there and there, a little afternoon tea. So now, which gentleman do we want? Um, I mean, money is good. Money is really, really good. We are going to get a prestige guest. We are, but we're, so we're, mm. I think, I think this happens for sure. We'll go ahead and do that. So that's going to be one of the valets for sure. That'll be an extra 200. But then the question is, do we go, because again, seniority. So the colonel. Which of these two do we do we use? Now that requires a valet, but we have them. Um, or the extra hundred. That's six. Is the difference between six and seven hundred that big a deal? I mean, it's a hundred quid. I get that, but a couple reputation. That is, I don't know. Let's go money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow your guys' suggestion. We'll go money. So there we go. So that's going to be a total of 300 quid. So we'll put 200 back. Get a nickel. There we go. So we're at 700. Expended service there. They will go away. Uh, in addition to that, we are then going to get one prestige guest. I realize y'all didn't see me shuffle these. So let's shuffle these. This is on camera. All right, good enough, and we'll cut. There we go. All right, let's see who, which prestige guest we get, and that is Charles Lord Harwood. Requires a reputation level of three to be able to play, so we can't play him yet, but, 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 we're not terribly far from that. He requires two attendants. He requires a footman and a valet, or, or, Two footmen because of the servants, I'm sorry, the uh, brushing room. Anyway, this stern aristocrat is one of the wealthiest inhabitants of Dar Derbyshire and a demanding guest, but he gives you 400 quid. So there's that. Okay. So that's not terrible, right? Uh, one second. There's one thing I wanted to double check. I apologize. Yeah, they go into your hand. Okay, I'm just, I'm for some reason, I'm being paranoid. New guests go into your hand. Um, hey, Dan, uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. He's wealthy, but he's not an American heiress. That is, that is a statement of fact. So uh, we've gotten our fa favors. We now have 700 quid. Let's go ahead and take a look at the market. Valet. Ooh. British pronounce it, not valet, but valet. Okay, fair enough. It's not valet. I know that. That's how we Americans pronounce it. But, um, All right, so let's take a look. What are we thinking about getting? Um, we currently have 700, and to be clear... We're not going to afford anything uh, monument-wise, okay? And... Ah, we have seven. Ah. Let's come back over here. So we'll start at the bottom. So that's 600. Requires or allows us. That is, that is awfully good. But that's our one purchase. And we won't be able to use it next turn, so keep that in mind. 
Cricket Field is going to cost us 500. Five gentlemen. Um, that's not going to happen either. Three gentlemen, also not going to happen. We have three gentlemen left in our hand. Okay. Which one of which we can't play yet. Uh, three gentry, again, that won't work. Two gentry for the tennis court. But honestly, and uh, croquet, uh, croquet and the riding stables. Yeah, maybe not. So let's look over here then. All right. Six gentry, but again, that's going to be a minute. And that's all 700. Uh, seven gentry, again, but look and look at the level of reputation. So we're not going to want anything down there, but just showing that. Take an objective card. That'd be nice because that's points at the end of the game, but not anytime soon because it requires a reputation of five. Uh, same with the parish church here. Four gentlemen that, and a reputation level of four. Five gentry, no. Okay, so now at least there's this. You can play a casual guest. So a casual guest would get us either, uh, right now it would be four uh, reputation for that. So that's not terrible. And four gentry, we can't play it. And the morning room, we can't play. Uh, we could. One, two, or three gentry, so we could play that. That would basically get us four reputation as well. Okay. Yeah, we you don't get objectives until you draw objectives. You don't get any at the beginning of the game. All right, so now moving over to the others, uh, maybe the fence paddock here. So we'll go backwards. So French garden, but take two prestige guests. But again, it's level six. Level five is one prestige guest. Level four is a prestige. C2, take one. Level four, double a favor and one prestige guest of it. Uh, a, a regular, um, but C4, take two. Regular, get casual guest, but again, three ladies can't do that. Two ladies can't do that for prestige guests, although theoretically we can because we're at a two uh, uh, reputation. Dismiss a guest, not really what we're trying to do here right now in two gentry. So none of those. Okay. Um, and then finally, I don't need to, I think y'all can see these. I don't need to go over, just show them. That, that one's actually really interesting and that's 700. That gets a seven reputation. That's awfully tempting. And then the last one is that. I like that. I'm gonna do that. We're grabbing the smoking room. So it's gonna be 700 straight up which is how much we have, so we'll take that one. That will go there. All right, so that's the market, so let's see. Clear the board, goes there, this flips. Okay. Uh, it's 133 would win it for us, per that. Okay, so we have a, that. We will be able to do that next turn. So, yeah, we're in good shape. All right, so now we will roll. So here we go. 15. Fifteen. Oh, God. Glory to Rome. He's taking a big game trophy. And the reason is, 15's the first one, so it will be the top one. So, yay. And by yay, I mean, really? All right. So there's that. Clear the board. We've already done that. We really got to get some of these now. Yeah. All right. Oh, 
put it on the board. Said over under on three and a half, right? We shall see. All right, rotate service. There and there. Uh, the round track. We will advance that. Nothing doing on this one. Uh, no monuments and no servants hall. Uh, remember, we can use one of these along with these because of the brushing room. Check that. Uh, because of the servants quarter. So here you go. Y'all were right. Well done peanut gallery because we're going to need it for this turn uh, All right host an activity. This is a non brain uh, no, or non decision in my opinion This is gonna be the smoking room as we had just kind of discussed sort of okay All right, so smoking room Requires a level two or a, a reputation. We are at two. Excellent. Uh, we need to play the butler. Done. And we have to have two gentlemen. Two gentlemen will be these two, which require footmen. I'm sorry, uh, val uh, valet, valets. Y'all throw me off of the pronunciation. So one valet there, one there. Yeah, I could use the uh, the footman if I wanted to, but I think that's that's good. So there's that. We're gonna get three, four, five, six, seven reputation. One, two, three, four, bink. Five, six, and seven. Right? Did I count right? I think so. So there we go. We are now at level three, which means we could always do the, play that now going forward. That's the last card in our hand as well. So these gents go over there. Discard. Discard. And that will flip. All right. Uh, so we enjoyed our favors. Purchase from the market, we broke, so we're not doing that. Uh, and now we will roll for the AI. Can you all see that? Yeah, six right there. So a six will be the top one. It'll be the uh, morning room. Goes away. Also, you'll be able to tell how many uh, turns you've gone now. There is one other rule that I think is going to be important to point out. And what that is, is the AI cannot take a tile that would keep us from filling our third slots on all of these. If so, then it will not take a tile, okay? Or if it's empty somehow or something, then it will not take a tile as well, okay? All right. Okay. So we are done. We cleared the board. Rotate service. There and there. Uh, round track. And the grand ball, I believe, happens at the end of the round? At the beginning. First action of every turn. Now, we're going to draw three prestige guests. Keep one. Discard two. Oh, thank you, Tony. Yes. Politely request some thumbs. Welcome back, Dan. All right. So we have three choices. So level four, reputation level four. Sir Alistair Lees, I think that says. Uh, I don't know what the BT at the end of his name is. Mysterious Sir Alistair has traveled the world and is rumored to prefer questionable company. He looks like a ruffian. I'm just saying. Uh, so this one, I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen this card. Uh, he gives you 600 quid and you must keep. Oh, you, oh, you, you can't dismiss any negatives if he's in, oh, oh, in the, okay. The grand ball only happens now, but in the tableau game, it happens starting around six. Fair enough. All right, so there's that. Uh, what do we have? Anne-Marie Contess, 
de Vitry, the wife of a wealthy French noble living outside of London, is an accomplished world traveler. So, 400 quid and a, uh, and a lady's maid. That's actually tempting because we are at a reputation level of three. Uh, and that could be really useful for us. And finally, we have Anne, Dowager Countess of Bristol. The sad dowager has endured a lifetime of tragedy, but she is very well connected in London society. Get you a prestige guest and two rep. Okay. Well, but she is reputation level four, so we can't use her right now. But honestly, I don't like this one. So, no. So it's going to be one of those two. So do we go Anne-Marie or do we do uh, Anne? So Anne-Marie or Anne, make your pick. Place your, place your, uh, your uh, choice here. Maria, ah, uh, I hate that dude. <laughs> yes, one of the ladies. I agree, Severine. But ah, uh, uh, there. I mean, I'm leaning towards that because getting extra prestige guests seems good. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, it seems universal, so we're gonna keep Anne. Although Anne Marie, not not a slouch. Okay, so those will, uh, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. All right. Well, okay. Now, we can, something to think about. We don't have anybody really that we can play. I lied. Yes, we do. We do have him. Because we can grab one of these and there and we're good to go. So we could do that for 400. But what would that, where could we? Negative. We cannot. Because we do not have anything that allows just for one gentry. So... No, 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 and no. So we can't actually do that. So our only choice, probably, is to go ahead and do the uh, butler. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking the butler's room. Okay, so using the servant's quarters, we're going to use the butler. There. Hire two servants from the supply. Okay. So now, what do we want to do? All right. I don't think I need to really... I, I guess I could go over the uh, the upstairs, downstairs servants, So which are all the four on the right. So those four, because I think everything else is pretty, pretty straightforward, except for maybe the underbutler. Uh, the underbutler does either butler, valet, footman, or hall boy at any time. Okay, so he's a wild. So that is the black meeple there. Okay. Oh, wait, never mind. You use the butler's room when you pass. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Back up. You're good call. We get that. Yeah, all right. Fair point. You are correct, everybody. Okay. So, actually, we will pass. Good call. Good call. Okay. So, here we go. Pass and then reclaim the deck. So, all of our discards, everything that we have played, comes back into our hand, as well as any existing cards. So, we now have our entire deck. And then refresh service. Um, pretty simple. Everybody is actually going to just scoot on over there. Okay.
So then we can do one of three things. As you can see, collect 200 pounds, PASCO. Uh, we can refresh the builder's market, which really doesn't come into play uh, in the, in the uh, SEC version of the game, the solo estate challenge. So really, that's not an option. So it's that or hire surgeon. Uh, surgeon? Servants. Um, right. So if we wish to hire, uh, it works exactly like uh, the butler's room. So, or we get to do the butler's room. So, we're going to go ahead and hire. So, that. Um, so, that works out. So, now, again, going back to this, what do we want to hire? We can hire two. And, let's go over uh, everything. Let's see. Uh... Let's see, uh, do we need more female attendance? Not, I mean, she only required, I mean, getting, getting a, uh, a lady's maid wouldn't be terrible. I think the lady's maid actually might make sense for one of them. But here we go. Uh, so the under butler we already covered. I think the other basic ones are pretty self-explanatory. But the cook, uh, place a cook on an activity tile, increases the reputation by one, and to optionally permit guests with prestige ratings one or two above the family's reputation to attend. So it increases this one, and then that actually would be a three, four, or five if we want it. That's really, really useful. The hall boy, which is the blue one right there, uh, place it on any gentry card uh, with a money favor to make it worth an extra 100 pounds. Or substitute the hall boy for a butler on a guest card um, where you the butler is an essential servant, so he fills in for the butler. Or substitute the hall boy for a footman on the carriage house tile specifically. But we're not going to... Uh, do that. So honestly, hall boy, nah, I don't think so. Other than the extra hundred filling in for the butler, I don't, I mean, the butler, I guess, is useful there for the smoking room, but we've already done that and flipped that once. So I don't know. The head housemaid, um, the head housemaid allows you to screen guests, i.e. draw two, pick one, or uh, she fills in for the housekeeper. And then the useful man, the useful man does a whole bunch of stuff potentially. Uh, place it on the study tile at the beginning of the village fair and increases it by 200, so it'd be 500 instead of 300 there. Uh, or place it uh, during the uh, builder's market or in the builder's market to discount that purchase by 100, so forever 100 short out here, there's that. Place them on a tile at the beginning of a turn to decrease the prestige rating of that tile by one, so it's kind of the opposite of the one earlier. So instead of a two, if that were or here, instead of a two, that would become a one for that one round. Uh, remove the uh, useful man from the game to refresh the builder's market, which doesn't come into play in our game, or uh, yeah, actually, that's it. So, I think we definitely go a lady's maid there. Um, I mean, I'm leaning more... I mean, we could go the under, why would we do the under, why would we do the useful man, honestly? Um, oh, you're right, the under butler can't be hired. That's right. Because the useful man gives a little bit extra money or helps with a prestige rate.
All right. Fine, we'll go useful, man. There we go. All right. So now that we have hired servants, then uh, shop in the builder's market if we so desire. We have no money, so we're not going to do that. Okay? Easy enough? Good. We're done. So we'll move that. Those will go there. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. And we still, ah, I believe we still roll. So let's go ahead and do that. 19, can you, oh, phew. I was gonna, thought it was here, but it's not. It's actually there. So a 19, uh, no purchase. Thank you very much. All right, excellent. Done. Oh, thank you. Yes, they are expecting. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. They come in because they need to, uh, not, not initiation. That's funny though. Orientation. That's the word I'm looking for. All right. So rotate service, Whoop. round track, nothing doing, uh, no monuments, no servants hall, host an activity. Let's do it. What's up, Drew? All right. What do we want to do? We have a handful of cards. Unfortunately, we're only at reputation level three, which means, nope. But, yup. Um, okay, so we can't there. So what do we have here? We still need to flip the front parlor at some point. Doesn't mean we have to do it right now. I'm just saying, okay. Uh, national holiday is next. In national holiday, next turn, players are permitted to host any activity and any guests during the holiday round. So, getting a lot of money right now to be able to buy a tile that we wouldn't normally be able to do, I think makes a lot of sense. Because then, she can come and play. So, that's definitely going to happen. So, if that's going to happen... Our realistic options here are the 200 there, or here, I realize that this is three rep versus 200, but if the extra gentleman will get us money, then I think it makes sense. Plus, that would actually get us to reputation level four. So, I'm just looking, right? So, there's two... And then there's those, but that requires valet. Um, and the extra rep is kind of nice to be able to do that. Because everything else is either uh, new guess or reputation. I think I, think I like that idea. Uh, That'd be 800 and three reputation or 800 and no rep. All right. So at the expense of an extra valet, I think the three reputation makes a lot of sense. So we're going to, we're going to have some cigars and port there in uh, the smoking room for this turn. Okay. So therefore that would go there. That requires the butler and we're allowed to do that with the servants quarter. Excellent call on that. I'm seeing the value in that now, clearly. Uh, so, it's going to be these three gentlemen right there. And that's going to require there, there, nothing, and there. So, boom. Four, six, eight, and three rep. Wow. 
One, two, bink! All right, that seems good to me, I think so. So, I mean, it cost us a lot as far as servants, but I feel like it was the right thing to do. So those three will go away. We got our money, we're good there, and now we will roll for the, no, we buy from the market first, that's right. All right, so let's take a look. And is it here? You know, that might not be a bad idea. Let's let's get them all out. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. You can see everything. Um, So looking at this, the billiards room would get us, that's 403 gentlemen, which we definitely have, and we're able to, we can you we have enough to be able to use, but it's not necessarily gentlemen, because remember, it's a hot national holiday next round, so we'll still be able to play her next round um, and get 400 quid plus that and either more rep or another guest um, so we're good there I like that idea I'm on board with that so that's going to be 400 of our 800 there. So we have 400 left. I don't know what to do with the other 400. Uh, so is anything here minus 100 plus 400 plus 100? No. And we would need minus 200 here and there isn't. So there's that. And we can spend up to 400 here. Unfortunately, that one, that's what I would like, but it's going to cost us 500. And we can't. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. We wouldn't be able to use the useful man on that because he's not available because we're allowed to once per turn um, w we use the butler for that so we can't unfortunately and the stock like no dice so there goes that idea um, I hate the idea of only buying one tile But I don't, I mean, we could get like the riding stables, but that feels wasted. I don't want to do that. Ha! Ah. We don't have a choice. It's either get something that we don't really want up there or just buy the one. I think we just buy the one. And we'll keep it for next round. The Lionheart Suite. Adds 900. We can't. We can't afford it. Anyway. I mean, we could roll it back and, okay, let's see. 
That's 800. We do have 800. Six gentry. Get a prestige. Take two prestige. Get. Hold on one second. Maybe we go there. Because six gentry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what do we have? Yes. Yes. We can't play him. Yes. 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 And yes. So we could play all of these and get the French Garden and get two prestige guests because we can play any time. Oh, I like that way better. I like that way better. Have a good one, uh, Dean. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a French Garden for an afternoon social next turn. Excellent call. Instead of the billiards room. So that is number 95. Let's put that back. That feels good. I like that. And that cost us all 800, but woo! Woo! We do. Yes. That feels good call, Maria. That feels tasty. All right. Cool. So clear the board. Already done. But now, gets the roll. Nine. The fenced paddock is gone. Okay, not a big deal. All right. Rotate service. Because remember, we can use one from there, right? Round track. Hey, it's a national holiday. So... Players are permitted to host any activity and any guests during this holiday round. Well, we've already talked about this, so let's go ahead and do that. Normally, we would need a reputation level of six. Not on the uh, not on a national holiday, however. So that'll do, pig. So what do we need? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Wait. One. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Don't tell me we're one short. Ah, oh, we are one short. We are one valet short. Because I forgot we have to use that there. And if we use that there, then we can't play either of them, which means one, two, three, four, five. Son of a glory to Rome. Oh, oh, good call. Severin. There we go. We're going to lose three rep right here. One, two, three. We go back to level three, but refresh one servant. That'll go there. Now we can do it. There we go. There we go. I always, always forget this stuff. So good call, everybody. Yep. Excellent. All right. Good call. Good call. So here we go. Uh... There's one, two, three, four, five. And uh, I believe we've already played the Colonel, so now it's Major's turn. Six. There we go. And that's our hand. Whoo, good call, good call. All right, so let's take inventory. First thing we get is pounds, British sterling. So we're looking at, I uh, don't know, we're, we're taking 100 for sure. And a rep or, no, we'll go ahead and take an extra 100 for that. So those two are done. So there's our money. Those go into the discards. Then it'll be reputation. Um, and unfortunately... She was not played with a prestige gentleman, so we're only going to get a casual guest there, no extra rep. 
but no. So that's going to be two. That'll be four rep all day. One, two, three, and four. Pink. There. So that one is done, and that one is almost done, but not quite. Uh, and then guests. So we're going to get one casual guest, draw two casual guests, keep one, draw a prestige guest, and then draw two prestige guests. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do this first. So we will take the first casual guest for uh, Lady Tara. Here we go. Oh, that was, that was not bad. Uh, we have Elizabeth, Viscountess uh, Peel. The Viscountess uh, enjoys bowls, lawn tennis, croquet, and other activities out of doors. So there we go. Requires a lady's maid and gives two reps. So, okay, that's cool. Uh, into our hand she goes. So this one is completely done. Now we will draw two casual guests. Keep one. One and two. All right, so... Well, he's, he's a handsome fella. Uh, Honorable Thomas Eck, the third son of a Staffordshire uh, Viscount, the young Mr. Fleck, oh, Fleck, sorry, uh, hunts big game and has twice visited Africa. And that's kind of terrible. Gives no points, requires a valet, and only gives 100 pounds. Uh, Miss Penelope Hill, the elegant Miss Hill, has family in London who are very connected in society there. Gets a prestige guest, requires a, a, uh, a lady's maid. Yeah, I think we go that route and a point. So we're going to go ahead and keep her. So gentlemen shall be. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. So done. Uh, let's go ahead and just draw three. Actually, we, we, we draw three. So one, two, and three there. Okay. And all of them are done. And just there. That will flip over. Prestige and dismat and seven. Seven gentry there. Okay. All right. So let's look at our three here. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, she shouldn't be in here. Or... No, the Fairchilds are out, right? So she is not available. I should have taken her out, I believe. Same with him. So, hold on. That's our first one. So we have Margaret, the Viscountess Brisbane, the haughty Viscountess, is well connected and from one of the largest landowning families in Shropshire. Uh, another lady in waiting, unfortunately, um, but we can we can play her casual in three hundred. Eh, all right, so that's one. And then I forgot to take them out. So those. So here we go. Another four rep. This is good for us. Tobias Earl Hale. An influential member of Yorkshire society, Earl Hale, his extensive interests in Bavaria from his mother's family. So, uh, very similar to Margaret here, requires a valet and uh, gets a casual in 400, so, and three points. That's not terrible. And we have the Honorable Albert uh, Plantagenet. Yes, Albert is a distant relation to the House of Plantagenet. I'm probably butchering it. I realize that. As he is fond of informing everyone. So he's, he loves him some him. Requires a valet, but gets us three rep. So, okay. Not the greatest draw, honestly, but okay. So there we go. Uh, cool. So now we can buy from the market. We only have 200... So now, now becomes a question. Exactly, Maria. Not only that garden, that French garden, both, both of the Fairchilds came to visit. 
<laughs> um, so the question here now is, we only have 200 quid. We would like some monuments. Um, so we could, we do need a, a, a third sporting building. And those are 200 a piece right there. None, 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 and those are higher. Yeah. So we could, but I feel like that's kind of, eh, you know? Um, I would love to get the stock lake, but honestly, maybe we, maybe we work towards the billiard room as our third one. And if that's the case, then maybe we go ahead and purchase the uh, croquet lawn. I think so. I think Plaginet, Plaginet, the dynasty of Henry II to Richard III. Thank you, Christopher. So, yeah, I think we do. We have 200, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and spend that. We'll go ahead. It's not the sexiest of tiles, but that's okay. Not everything can be a winner. It's all right. Uh, all right, so we're done buying from the market. 11. 11 is going to be the third one here in the market. So third one down, not the flower room, not the gable conservatory, but unfortunately the queen's suite is gone now. Okay. All right. And the reason, because 11, it's the third one down. So there we go. Easy enough. Done. We've cleared the board. Rotate service. There, round track. Here we have another village fair coming next round, but we're already set up for it. Two rep and 300, or we could take the useful man, put it there and it's 500. So that's that's definitely a possibility there, okay? Uh, so what activity do we want to host? Oh, I guess I could have used the useful man to get a discount of an extra 100, but I don't think that helps. Does it? So that, w I, I guess I could have. I think I would rather, I would rather use him for here that gets us 200. I think that's the better idea. So that's all. My 12-year-old uh, girl drank here. My mocha frat. Exactly, Graham. Exactly. All right, so what do we want to do? What do we have? So we have that we have available. We have two. We can't. Oh, yeah. Um, so we have three ladies. And three gentlemen. Everybody requires service. So it's not going to be any of those. Okay. There are the ladies, of which we could theoretically use two of them. And for the gents, we have there, there, and there, of which we could theoretically use two of them. I say theoretically because... The gentlemen all require him, uh, the uh, valet, and all the ladies require a lady's maid. And each of them has one available that we can use, so we could use up to three. Uh, so, there we go. Okay? All right. So, with that said, uh, money's good, so I think we're going to definitely use that. I think we are definitely going to use that. So, that's a... a uh, gentleman and a lady for sure. So there's two. And then it becomes, do we want to get another prestige guest? Because points, not a terrible idea. Or do we want to uh, rep, right? I think the prestige guest, potentially. So up to three gentry, excuse me. Um, we do have to flip, flip the croquet lawn. So if we were to do that, sorry, y'all can't see this. There we go. Um, so these two, I think for sure, two casuals. 
and 700 quid. Uh, so that would give us 900 here plus another 500. So we could, we could forego some buying this turn and get some good stuff next turn. Keep that in mind. Um, because we're going to use the useful man, which will get us an extra 500, seven, nine, that's 1400 pounds. If we were to do this and two extra casual guests into our, uh, into our hand. We also, at some point, need to flip. I think that's probably the smarter thing, because we don't have six gentry we can play. And notice, these are the two that need to flip still, right? The other thing... So we could always do the front parlor next turn, and, and, if we were to, oh, if, ah, but that would give us a prestige guess, but we would have less money. But if we play the gentleman next turn, either here or, yeah, I think we could, um, hmm. You know what? I think we go to the front parlor. I like that idea. So we'll bust out the front parlor. A little whist going on here. So that will be the uh, the housekeeper comes over. Uh, and two ladies, one of which will be there. And we the other will be there. All right. Cool. So we get a 300 quid, a casual guest, and a prestige guest, and they both require, y'all can't see that. There we go. That. But we have this one, and we have that one. There we go. There, there. So 300. We're not going to purchase any building this turn. A... Regular guest, a casual guest, if you will. And we have uh, Miss Penelope Atwood. Miss Atwood is warm and generous with her little to offer, except uh, with little to offer, except good cheer and a kind heart. And really, isn't that what matters? She's terrible, though. All right. And then we need a prestige guest. And we have uh, Caroline Viscountess Abernathy. The Viscountess is demanding of the domestic staff and never gentle with the foolishness of the young. Pretty terrible. That was a terrible draw. So, meh. All right. And we get three rep. One, two, three from here. We've enjoyed the favors. That will now flip. I'm really enjoying this uh, version of the game. It feels similar yet different than the uh, the regular one. So that's really, really well done, Dan. All right. So let's roll. And the AI is roll a die. Get rid of a tile. There we go. So it's going to be a five and the five. Sorry. There we go. Five is going to be the third one down here, which we have two of them. So, uh-oh. One, two, three. The Hillside Kennel. I thought it was going to be the billiard room, which we were kind of hoping to keep. So there we go. Hillside Kennel. Done. Again, we are not, we, we chose to not build because we're going to wait on that, right? So rotate service. Okay. And there. Round track. It is now the village fair. Useful man will have gone over there. So that's going to be an extra 200, so it's going to be 500 quid and two rep. Whoop. And we're up to rep level five now. So I'm just going to put him as expended so I don't forget. And now we get to take our turn. All right, what activity do we want? <laughs> All right, Wade, have a good one. 
Um, all right, so what do we have? We have a lot of gentlemen and one lady we would be able to play, theoretically. So, that is a no-brainer. Um, well, all of the, all of the uh, guests that we have are available. We're not going to play either of those, so there, and there. So this is for sure, and then we could go ahead and play uh, the Honorable Albert uh, Plantagenet, what Christopher called him, there for three rep. So we get a casual guess, three rep, and 400, and the 400 would get us up to 1,200, plus... 1400. I think that's what we do. I think we go ahead and do a little croquet lawn. Uh, play a little croquet. Okay. All right. So we'll go there. He'll go there. And I think we're going to play a couple of gentlemen. So we have there. Yeah, I think so. There and there. I think so. I think that uh, that works. All right, so we get money first. That's going to be a total of 600. Putting us at 1,400. That's good. All right, and now reputation is going to be three. One, two, three. And a casual guest. The casual guest will be uh, Sir Bentley Churchill. What is the BT again? He's a CAD, unfortunately. Sir Bentley lacks all of the propri uh, propriety of his father, pursues ladies with abandon, and is quite wealthy. He looks like, he just looks like a douche canoe, doesn't he? So he's minus three points, and he's minus two rep if we play him, so we need to get rid of him out of our deck, unfortunately. So, womp womp, there. All right. Those are played. These are not. Now, buying from the market, don't mind if we do. Baronet. All right, thank you. All right, so we have 1,400 to our name. I mean, it's not the highest point one, right? But that imported marble floor is a, is a second essentials. I think that's the one we get. So it's 1,100. I think so. So let's tentatively take that one aside. That leaves us with 300 and no discount for our useful man. Um, so we still need one, 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 and one, right? And with 300, there's not going to be any discounts here, so yeah, I think we're done building or we're done buying. But that's it. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So that's going to be uh, what we say, eleven hundred. Whoo! That was one hell of an expensive floor, and that does not notice they don't need to flip. Okay, so that's done. But it's eight points, one thirty-two. All right, we're done buying from the market. The AI will roll a 19. Ah, I tried. 12. 12 is going to be the retiring room. So, yeah, it's not one we would have wanted anyways. So, there we go. That's okay. It's okay. Clear the board. That's already done. All right. Rotate service. Okay, 
And we have a builder's holiday coming up, which we already do. We still need four tiles and we have to play them. One, two, three. That's bad. We're at turn 14 then. We have to buy a tile every turn. Uh huh. Oh, good call. Right. And uh, we get one rep every turn because we now have a monument per that. Good call. And bink. Good call. All right. So we have to be able to buy a tile. That is the key thing. Okay. All right. So what are we looking to do? What do we have? Uh, we have a very uh, female heavy staff this round. Um, huh. Would it, would it be, hmm, would it be crazy to pass? I think it would. Yeah. So we need money, right? I hate the idea of it, but I think we have to play the CAD. And we play at least one of the ladies that will offset that because the money, right? That would give us an extra 600 or an extra 300 as it were. So everything that we have is flipped. So we're not hurting ourselves here. Unfortunately, we only have five in our hand, and we don't have the staff available to be able to do the French Garden, even though we are currently at reputation level six. Another option is we could do the front parlor for three ladies. No, we cannot. We are one short. Never mind. We, so we can't do that. So essentially what I'm saying is we could do this. We cannot. Oh. We cannot do that. We can, but it would have to be the ladies that we played, and we couldn't use the gentlemen because we need the footmen for that. So the ladies, it would just be straight up probably four rep for that and 300. That's not bad. Um, or we could pass and get 200. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do that. We're going to pass. So, reclaim the deck. All of that back into our hand. I, yeah, I think that is the right idea. Refresh service. Everybody back into the pool. That's good. We're going to go ahead and get the 200, which is actually going to be 500. And let's go shopping. Oh, that hurts, though. But I think, nah, I think it's okay. All right. So, we have 500. We need one, 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 and one, or those but that ain't happening. So 500, what can we do? So face value here. No, so don't even look at those. So it's these two stacks. We only need one of each. I said 500, and these won't be three. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the uh, essentials. So let's take a look. Eh, that might not be terrible right there, since we have all of our staff. So that's the leader in the clubhouse right now. So we're just gonna set that there for right now. That's kind of a wash. 
And playing more gentry, I think, is going to be better. So no. We don't need to really worry about reps, so no. Now that, that's an interesting delay. Ah, it's six. Oh, we have a, we have a useful man. We could take our first objective card. Oh, that's actually what Dan just said. So that might be the idea. I like that idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right. It's only going to be one objective, but hopefully we do well. So we will. That will have gone use the useful man on that tile for the 100 discount. So that's actually only will have been uh, 500, which is all of it, boom, done. All right. And now the, uh, the AI goes. Three. That'll be the uh, writing stables. Goes away. Okay, so be it. Builder's Holiday doesn't really apply for us, does it? Am I forgetting something? I don't think so. Okay. Rotate, uh, no, we're done. So, yeah, rotate service. So, useful man will come back. We get another rep. There. There. Oh, sorry, I already did this. I am, I'm off. I apologize. So, hosting an activity. I think that's the no-brainer. We have to do that. But we also need money. Ha. Huh. That's two family. We need money. but we have to flip it. Oh, that's gross. But if we buy a monument on one of these turns, we don't have to flip the monument. So at least there's that. Oh, that should uh, go back, sorry. So it buys us one turn, we need money. Okay, ah, this is hard. You're right. Thank you, Dan. The Builder's Holiday, it's uh, 100, 100 quid cheaper than what it normally would say or what it says on it. Okay. Those are the ones that we're looking at for this round, I think. So it's two gentlemen and a lady. I'm just curious. Seven gentry. That's three. That would be four. I'm just, uh, just indulge me. So that's four. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Oh, hold on. So if we were to do the afternoon social, it allows us to dismiss any guests. So that gets rid of the CAD that we need, right? And we just need family members that don't require. So by my count, 
We do need two family for the library. That's a fair point. So hold on. And okay, so here, if we save these two for the library, which it's not great. I understand. They're not great. I get it. But if we save those, if we did the French garden, that'd be seven. So looking at this, we have that, 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 there, and there. We get a ton of money, a ton of money. We would get some more guests, prestige guests. I think that's what we do. I like that because all of these require more attendance and those are the best that we could do and we don't need to worry about rep. I like that. Let's have a big turn. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up the French garden. Seven gentry, we've already covered that right there. All right, so here we go, money first. We're gonna take the money, so one, two, three, four, seven, and eight is 1,500. Make sure my mouse right. Eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1,500. That seems good. So they're done. And that's done. Then we need, uh, let's see, two rep. One, two. Two casual guests and a prestige guest. And two prestige guests and two casual guests. And we can dismiss any one. That seems good. I like that. All right, so we need two casuals. Filthy casuals. All right, here we go. Uh, Sir William Hawk, the wealthy family of Sir William, has done well investing in India, a possession he has visited several times. Not terrible, but fine. Doesn't hurt us. Dismiss any guests, it says. Well, good thing. Thomas Fuller, the combative Mr. Fuller, uh, endured extreme poverty in his youth before amassing great wealth in the wool trade. Uh, so he's a narcissist. Got it. Ton of money, but minus four points. So we're going to go ahead and he's going to get dismissed for sure. So, okay. Uh, now we have two... Uh, two prestige guests. So what do we have? We have Sherlock Holmes, detective, the renowned detective, fly fishes in Baslow with Viscount Ashwood. Uh, you can always get rid of a cad, gossip, or a scoundrel, as well as a couple of uh, prestige. Oh, sorry. There we go. All right, cool. All uh, right. And uh, Lady Eleanor Palmer, without debate, Lady Eleanor is the most gregarious and connected socialite native to Derbyshire. Uh, everybody likes her. So, okay, that's cool. All right, so let's see. Done, done, done. And now we can dismiss. So we're going to go ahead. The 900 is... Is it worth it? I don't know. Do we dismiss him? Oh. Well, I know for a fact we're going to go ahead and dismiss the CAD. And it says, any guests... Hmm. So let's let's look at this. All of them are spent. We have 1500. That would be 12 11 
We're going to have no money next turn. We can't play him, though. But if we can't play him, then that... Ah. ah. I think we... I think we keep him for now, believe it or not. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So buying from the market. It is the builder's holiday. Everything is a hundred less. That is going to come into play here, I think. So, if we buy whatever one of these we buy for 7, 9, or 10 points, that is going to be the last of its color. Which then means we could potentially, uh, so this is 600, and that would be, let's see, that's, we are 100 short for the nine or, or we get the, we could get the billiard room. Billiard room is 300 and 1100. And then we just need a prestige next turn or, or, we could spend some rep. And go ahead and get the prestige now. Well, I... Th uh, so, these are 700 apiece. Or 800. That won't work. It can't be more than a hundred or more than that. So I think we go, yeah, I like that. Let's go music room for 600 and then we can go nine. We could get the garden maze. I think that works. Oh, you know what? And, and the useful man we can use per that, so that'll be an extra hundred off. Okay, so imagine we have 1,800 here, 12 and seven. We are a hundred short, so that's two rep. There it is, got it. Okay, follow me. Eight and four is 12, minus a hundred, Minus 100 for the Builder's Holiday, that's 1,000. Then, if we were to get the Music Room, that would be 700 minus that is 600. The Builder's Holiday is 500, and we don't have to lose any rep. I like it. But next term, we're not going to have any money is the problem. So then, let's look at, that's still four. That might be better. Spend the two rep for the extra hundred, I guess that's a wash. Plus, but it is the cabinet of curiosities. And it's worth more points, so let's do that. 
So that's going to be 800, 700, 600. We only have 500. So back two for the extra 100, and we buy the cabinet of curiosities. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's okay. Done. Now the game will take its turn. These are tough decisions. 17. Uh, that'll be uh, the bottom one. So the Manor Gargoyles are gone. All right. Board is clear. Rotate service. And the useful man comes back. He's been useful. Uh, I don't think I got the rep last time for the... Oh, per. And I get one more because the monument's there. And now, theoretically, this should be the last turn. We won't lose any points. But that's probably not going to happen. Host and activity. We've already covered this. Yeah. It's going to be the main library. The butler. Two family. That'll be them. Or is it? Ah, oh, I can't do it. I need that and the, oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. All right, so the butler there, nothing here. So that would be draw one, keep it, draw two, and discard one. Ah, that sucks. All right, so the draw. Aye, vey, come on. Uh, Carol Pendergast, an American heiress. Great, but not. From Boston, Mr. Pendergast, uh, Miss Pendergast's family dominates the textile in industry in the East. That's now two negatives we have. That sucks. And then the draw two, keep one. Clearly, I chose poorly on that order. Uh, Lady Anne, uh, Austin. She adores the continent, traveling there whenever possible, and visiting France once a year. I mean, who doesn't like that? Oh, will you stop this? Miss Beatrice Wilton. Uh, gossip. Beatrice cares only for status, although she lacks it herself. Guests often find her tiresome. Ah. Uh. All right, the objective card. Take one. If it is for a set of tiles, it gets discarded because I should have removed those already. And I didn't. So like that, this one gets discarded. Next one. All right. Servant bonus. One victory point for every basic uh, servant. So uh, valets, ladies, maid, and footmen. So right now it's five points. Yeah, it's five points. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. Who said that? Severing. For the first draw, that sucked. The second draw, instead of drawing, I could dismiss. You're right. So these, she was the first one that we drew, and instead of drawing these two and keeping one, we can dismiss her instead, and that's what we will do. So these will go back to the bottom of the deck, and this will go back to the bottom of the deck via that. Good call, Severin. Yes. So all three of those go away. Ah, wrong deck. Three. Good call. I'm off my game today. I apologize, y'all. So they are discarded. Whew. All right. Um, buy from the market. We have no money. We will not. So they will roll. 18. That'll be the final monument. Go. 
there. So now, if they roll 15 or higher, nothing happens. All right, clear the board. That goes there. The main library will flip. This one will take a victory point card, but really not the uh, priority for us. All right, rotate service. Finally, we can actually do something there. Uh, that's going to be two more rep. Bink! And there we go. So we are at max. When we get this tile and these two have flipped, the game ends. Okay? All right. So village fair and the village fair. Hmm. Is it worth the extra 200 for the useful man? I think it is. So it's going to be 500 and two rep, although well, I guess it matters because that will get us an extra hundred potentially there. All right. So now for the penultimate turn, because I have planned poorly, the cabinet of curiosities kind of sucks, although it can get us a lot of money. Because I believe the special actions you can do as many times as you want. I believe. Double checking. As long as they have reputation available. Yup. All right. So... I guess we will go ahead and bust out the cabinet of curiosities. Yeah, that works out actually perfect, I think. Yeah, it does. All right, so it's going to require the footman done and two gentry. So the gentry will be that. Oh no. How do I get rid of him is the problem. So we need a sporting, hold on, there, I don't think there's any, yeah, this is just money. We need to be able to get rid of Fuller. I can't play him and that, so never mind. But I don't know how to get rid of him. I don't want to have to pass. Oh, so hold on. He loses us four points. If we go an extra round, it would be... I think we might go one extra round, so we might go to 15. No, I have nobody. Uh, unfortunately, Sherlock Holmes can only discard uh, a cad, a gossip, or scoundrel, none of which is fuller. So... You know what? Because I can't, and I can't play him and that. Because I only have one footman. So do I pass this round? Golly, that's terrible. Oh. Two gentry. Would only get us two... But a bunch, uh, that would be 300, 400, 600, and we have enough. So we're good. But then we would have to pass to dismiss him. Ah. Oh, French Garden. Okay, let's see if we can. Let's 
Oh, but pass or French car, either way, right? If we did the French, can I even play that? There. There. There, that's three. I need four more. No, I can't. It's too many. Yep. Uh, I think, Dan, you're right. So we're going to pass. Instead of doing that, that won't work. That's terrible. All right. So we're going to pass. We reclaim our deck. Our entire deck comes back to us. Uh, refresh service. So everybody comes over there. Um, huh, interesting. Do we collect the 200? No, or hire servants. We can hire two servants. It's two points. Might as well. And it gives us more, even though they're, they're expended, but it, that's going to be more useful than the 200, I think. So, uh... Just to be safe, I will grab one there, and we will go one there. And now we can shop. We have 500, we need a green. Five gentlemen for the cricket field or four gentry. Yeah, let's go with that. That'll be 600. I'm 100 short. That's okay. Done. So that's 500. Oops. That goes back to. All right. Refresh. Uh, uh, sorry, he rolls. That is a nine. Oops. There we go. And so it'll be the top one there. Advance, rotate service there. Uh, two more rep for our monuments. Cool. All right. So now we have to play these two. So it's going to go one more turn. There's nothing we can do about that. We don't need money as far as buying anything. So let's go ahead and play the Cabinet of Curiosities, which he also should be there. Sorry. So that will go there for our use. Then that will go, and that's going to be, what was it? It is two gentry. Right there. And that will require that. All right. So that's going to be 900. There. Uh, and we lose four rep. One, two, three, four. But that's okay. So that will come back. Then she will dismiss him. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. But we get six rep for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bink. Done. 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 There. And flip. It will roll. It doesn't matter at this point because we're not buying anything. But a 19 buys nothing. Done. We're not buying anything. Ah, we have 900. Hold on. No, because then we would have to flip it, and that doesn't make sense. So, we will rotate service. Two more rep. Bink, bink, but we're already maxed. Advance that. And our last turn is going to be 
that, which will be one there. That'll be 600, so I don't forget. And four gentry. There we go. And this will be the last turn of the game. So the four gentry... Um, So the question is, do we do something like this? Because we run a risk with this, but getting three prestige guests Oh yeah, right. Get an extra hundred. You're right. Got it. You're right. Uh, so we have a fourth gentry. Now, we could do that just in case. And that gives us three prestige and one casual and rep that we don't need. I think, because that's going to be more important than money, because it's one point per 200. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think that works out. So, four gentry. One, two... Three, four. I mean, it feels appropriate that we get to play Sherlock Holmes on the last turn. So we got the money already. Uh, rep doesn't matter, but you know what? We get four rep out of it. One, two, three, four. We've eclipsed it twice now. Here, we'll flip that over. Just make us feel better. Uh, then we got a casual and three prestige. So let's see what we got. The casual... Hey, it's a point. Uh, Sir Kenneth Crawley. Uh, Sir Kenneth has a passion for horses and is heir to a modest estate in the heart of Derbyshire. Okay? All right. Oh, yeah, and good point. So we've gone around it twice. I'll get to that in a minute. Then we're going to take three prestige guests. So one, two... And three. Here we go. Oh, well, hello, Hazel. The Viscount Cross. Despite humble origins, the wife of Viscount Cross is beloved. She lost a leg in her youth and requires extra aid. Hey, it's four points. Then we have Frey, uh, Freyfrau von L oh boy. Ludwig Storff. Claims a connection to the Habsburgs, okay? And Lady Elizabeth Hastings. Lady Elizabeth, a devoted traveler, is the eldest spinster daughter of the wealthy Earl Hastings. So there we go. All of them come in. So we ended up not needing uh, Sherlock, but that's okay. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we went back 10, and we're still at max because we went around it twice. So that's going to be an extra 500. So I guess it matters for that. There we go. Okay. Okay. So. That gets flipped. And thus ends our playthrough. Of the solo estate challenge. All right. Uh, although technically he would get another. Here, let's finish it. So we would be able to buy. We're not going to. Four is going to be the second one down. And that's going to go there. It doesn't matter. Boom. Done. That's the end of the game. All right. So now. Let me grab my handy dandy little pen. 132 is our goal.
Okay. So, improvement tile VP. All right, let's look. So, uh, yeah, you can see everything. So, we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 25, 35, 37, 41, 48, 50, 60. That seems good. That seems good. Yeah. So 60. Okay. Gentry victory points. Okay. All right. Well, let's go through it. All we're looking at is the stuff in the top right. 2, 5, 7, 10, 11, 13, 17, 20, 1, 23, 24, 26, 27, 29, 32, 35, 37, 40. Also seems good. Okay. Nice round numbers. All right. Objectives. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's look. So on our player board, it says one point for each basic servant. Okay. So let's see. One, five, six, seven. Okay. That's not bad. Seven and zero is 107. Because we got, uh, oh, check that. Wrong thing. Do we, do we score that as normal? Because you're always going to max out. But I believe so, right? Because 28. That seems, really? Okay, yeah. So check that. That would be 28. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's 135. Victory is ours. All right. Two per servant, period. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's twenty. Uh, one per two hundred. Uh, that's two thousand. So that'd be ten. So that's one sixty-five. And then the courtship uh, VP cards. We have none, but but we finished. 5, 10, 15 points below. So we'll go minus 15, and that brings us to 150. There we go. There we go. All right, so we win at 150. Uh, there were two Glory to Rome, so if you picked under and me, or us, we, uh, we were victorious. Yeah. Okay, a couple of things, first and foremost, all right? Um, excellent. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope y'all did as well. And it's, it's simply, you know, it's kind of not a race game, but it's an efficiency game. And I like that you have different ways to play it. If you don't like the way the courtship plays, play this tableau builder. I know it's Tony's favorite. And, uh, I, I really enjoyed this for a solo experience. I don't know that I would say I enjoyed one more than the other. I like the variety. So, well done. The fact that you can play this so reasonably dramatically different because of what you're going after with the, uh, with the courtship and the different ways that you can play the courtship. Wow, there's a lot of game here. I am, I am really smitten with this game. Plus, I mean, obviously the theme is just, it's just dripping all over the place on this. In addition to all of that, if you might be looking at the solo uh, solo uh, estate challenge being too easy, uh, let's see, you can, I don't have them in front of me, but on the, there are solo uh, cards. You can go up against the solo AI, so a different family, and just pick a different number than 132, which is the number that they have. If you want, that's an option. You could, and we would have lost if this is the case, I think. We won by 18 points. Yeah, we would have lost. Uh, another thing you can do is count their monuments 
and they get points for those. So that would have been 11 at 20. 20 plus, they would have won 152 to 150. So you can also add in those. And that is really tight. Two points out of 150. Ah, uh, yeah. Exactly, exactly what Dan just said. There you go. Um, and there's a, one other thing that you can do. Um, yeah, it was uh, the solitaire uh, opponents. You're not. You, you're just basically coming up with a thematic name and picking the number. And there are three different uh, ones. Plus, don't forget here. If we had gone to the to the regular ending. Here, notice we did. We, we did not play the extended. We wouldn't have lost any points, but the goal there is 188. We would have been at 165. We would have lost by 23 points without... Oh, check that. Oh, God, that would have been horrible. One other major thing. There are three here. In the extended, there are four, and they all have to be flipped. Oops. So... That would have gone way negative for us. We would have had more tiles, but it would have gone more negative. And also, I had mentioned earlier that uh, some folks had, find a, had found a way to break the game if you uh, intentionally avoid ending the game and just not care about how many rounds it goes. But Dan's working on a... He said in all of his playtesting, nobody ever conceived that. I'll be honest, that kind of defeats the spirit of the game. So why would you do that? Uh... Cool. It's, you can win. Yeah, it's not what I'm looking for. Here, it was a tight game. I enjoyed that thoroughly. So, there you go. Uh, wow, that was, a, that was, seriously, that was great. I had a blast with that. Hopefully, you all enjoyed that as well. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, <laughs> Dan says, Edward's the master of big turns. The garden won it for him. That is true. That was a really big turn, just like, I forget, in the previous stream, uh, in one of them, we had bought like six or seven tiles in one turn. It was something ungodly. It was, eh, that's fun. That feels good, right? Uh, Severine, uh, game so good. 11 plays in two months says a lot. Love it so much. Well done, Dan. Yeah, I think so. Um, if you listen to the review, um, I think there were some fair critiques we had, especially of the rule book, the fact that you have a massive, or not massive, but a 16-page rule book and a 27, I guess 28 if you count the back, a glossary, but there are rules that are important that should have been. So anyway, if you go and listen to the review, I think we break it down pretty well. Uh, check that out over on the podcast. So thanks to Tony for, the, uh, for guest hosting on that. And yeah, there we go. Oh, and you can get more points from reputation because it goes higher. You That is a very good point, Graham. All right. Kevin, it's not Downton Abbey. It is. <laughs> Never mind. Go listen to the podcast. Thank you. Uh, big thanks again to Dan Halligan over at Kayenta Games for the review copy as well as just designing a masterful game. I mean, across the board, this is wonderful. Uh, if you don't like the amount of randomness that is in the draws, uh, there are plenty of variants that you can mix things up for. And yeah, just, just a lot going for it. A really, really solid, amazing game, I would say. I just wish there was a way to put it into the box that had a picture. Now I have to go watch the video again to figure out how to pack this thing up. But other than that, Really happy with it. All right, that's it. Uh, I'm out of here. I will, let's see, Jess and I will be back tomorrow with Biosphere, two-player game from Essen a few Essens ago, I guess it was. So, yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. Hey, hey, there's the love of my life. Hello, Jess. Hi. All right, looking forward to seeing you. All right. Could I say all right more? I'm out of here. You all have a great day. Social distance, wear your mask, be kind to one another. Jess and I will see you tomorrow evening around 7 p.m., give or take a few minutes. All right? Take care, everybody. Edward, master of big turns. I like that. I think that'll work. Salted caramel. <laughs>